Hello everyone! Welcome! Welcome to another Princess of Pineapples, aka Nyla, that's me, live stream. You can call me Princess, you can call me Nyla, I don't care, whatever is easier for you to remember. Don't forget to hit that like button on your way in. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, you should really consider subscribing because we're trying to get to 300. Trying to get there. And we're getting, we're getting pretty close, so hop on in. The water's wet. We play all sorts of games here. I am a variety streamer. I play Pokemon. I play Animal Crossing. I play Dark Souls once in a blue moon. I uh, play a little bit of everything, so... I, I always will make sure that my content is advertised correctly. Like, I make sure you know, like, my Animal Crossing is very family friendly. My Pokemon is very family friendly. But I will always let you know if I have anything that's not for the little ones, if you know what I mean. Okay, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright. There's Chrissy. All right, I'm trying to remember last time, I'm trying to remember last time, uh, has it only been a week or has it, oh, it was two weeks, it's been two weeks since we played Pokemon, because I was on vacation last week, that's why I don't remember what we did last time, but yes, um, I guess it would help if I look at my quest, let's see, missions and requests, Avalog, the Lord of the Tundra, has been driven into a frenzy by the strange lightning. Investigate the matter and find a way to quell his frenzy. Alright, so that's what we need to do. Hello, is there anyone here? Hello? Hello? Uh... Potato? There's the bug. Yay. I was like, where are the people? Okay. Alright, I think we were training Riolu. Yep, that's what we were doing. I'm starting to remember. Don't worry, that, that water wasn't full. That water was almost empty. Alright. Sorry, computer required a restart. Ah. Uh, let's just use Aurora Spear. Hi, love. How are you? So I'm curious, Chrissy, would you be able to watch the stream on the big TV? I am Snarf. Yes, you are Snarf. You have to. You'll have to tell me how the. Uh, Adult juice drink is love. Alright, let's go, let's go. Gotta be careful of these A bombs. One of them killed us that one time. I'm gonna let it kill us this time. Good. Probably let me check. Oh, by the way, for anyone that doesn't know, we got a TV very recently from a friend of Dreams that also works at the Postal Service, and it works. It works. So when uh, when I finally get a game for my GameCube, I can actually play my GameCube. I'm so excited. I never thought I'd be able to say that. 
And if Chrissy hooks up her DVD player, we can start watching a whole bunch of movies. Chrissy and I could watch Naruto together. I'm sure she's gonna love that. She's never seen Naruto. Deeper, deeper into the cave. Yep, we'll just need to adjust sound. Cool. You hear that, dreams? I was just finishing my news. Let's fight. Aurora Spear! She can adjust pretty easily. Yay! Happy to hear that. And I think my PS3 will be fine on the floor, like underneath the, uh, the fake fireplace. It can just sit on the ground. Or maybe we could get like a really small shelf for down there. What do you think, Dreams? For the PS3, because we're going to have to find a way to hook that up too at some point. to go back at some point to heal. Mrs. Cupcake is still streaming. I actually checked to see if she was still alive. She's been going for a while now. Fox Gamer, hi! How are you? Cute picture. Welcome, welcome on in. Hiya! Fight! Go, Riolu, go! You show them who's boss. Someday you're going to be a powerful Lucario. They just had to wait for you to find your strength. Hello, how's it going? Alright, Aurora Spear! Soon, level 50, we just leveled up. We'll have to check. Good, and Mrs. Cupcake done stream, so I came here. Aw, did she send you to me? Oh well, she might actually sh show up here then. We'll see. Oh yeah, I was gonna check on Riolu. This cupcake is a good friend of mine. No, it, it doesn't say anything about evolving. Check summary. Nope. I have to wait. I don't have any uh, candies to give him. The more we battle, the better off we'll be. That's the way friendship works. Come on, Riolu! Aurora Spear! Use your power and your might! Someday. Someday you will be powerful than all the other Riolus in all the land! Oh, I, I don't know if you want to see my team or not, but uh, I've got Luxray over here. On this side, Luxray, uh, Doe. I think I'm gonna pronounce D D D Swede, D Swede I. Oh, that was totally wrong. D Sid I, D Sid I, the Owl, the evolution of Rowlet. Him, him. I always get his name wrong. Uh, Vaporeon. 
Victorian is the champion. The champion of this run. Really not happy enough, friendly enough with you yet, eh? And then we got Slugu. Cute little Slugu. Rapidash. Shiny Rapidash. And of course, Rulu. Which we're trying to get his friendship up so that he will evolve into a Lucario. That is what we are working on now. It's gonna be more of a chill, more of a chill time working on getting him up there. That's what we're doing. We're going around battling Pokemon. If we see any rifts that are actually worth going into, we might actually take the chance with some of our other Pokemon and maybe we'll get some more experienced thingies to help make it go a little bit faster. Okay, we are officially out of Aurora Spears now, so I'm gonna have to go back at some point to get more. But I do still have close combat, so we'll use that for now. Now remember everyone, it's very important to drink your water. Hail hydrate. Be sure you are drinking fluids, whatever fluids of choice. But especially if you have an alcoholic juice box, make sure you have water. It's important to take water with your alcoholic juice box, okay? Three messages. Ah, we will work on that too. Okay, this is what I have so far. Can we announce tomorrow? go hit that tree. I don't want to go down there. I could go up here. I mean the tree is free. It's only a little bit of experience but it's free. Oh well, there's an apom. Let's go get him. Show that apom who's boss. Well, I hope Miss Cupcake is doing her post-stream care, because it's very important as a streamer that you do that, that you don't, you know, work too hard. Because, you know, self-care is very important. Oh no! A wild snow run! Close combat! Okay, now we really do need to go back, because we only have one more close combat. So if we find one more enemy, oh, uh, that's an evolved Apom. I don't know. I think it's just a regular one, right? It's not an alpha. Looks like just a regular one. Yep. That is just a regular one. Alright. Let's make sure we're out of the path of any Pokemon. I don't remember... It's over here somewhere. I think we're going in the right direction. Alright, let's go ahead and get on something a little bit faster. Take a look at our map. Oh yeah, there's a new request up there. That's where our quest quest is. Is There's a camp. There's a camp over here. Good stuff. Alright.
We'll take a rest. Just a little while. Now we're going to see if we have anything we want to sell. Let's organize our items. Oh, we have four Stardust, so let's go sell that at the very minimum. I would like to do some shopping. Alright, we'll sell. We'll sell four. I can't see how much money I have, but uh... Looks like we got a Thunderstone. Well, actually, that's a Shiny Stone. Correction, that is a Shiny Stone, so... We're gonna hold on to that for now, in case we need it later. Uh, we definitely don't need that. I'm gonna move that to storage. Move that to storage. Move, move. We don't need a lot of this stuff. Yep. Probably use the grits. Ah, uh, that's the uh, swap snack. Yeah, we're not gonna use that right now. We'll keep those in our pocket. Not gonna use these. Not gonna use those. And there. A lot more reasonable. to Satchel. Alright, uh, go back into inventory. Craft. Hmm, okay. Alright, let's talk to the professor. Sure. Alright. I uh, gotta go. Alright, let's go. Back into the wild. Hmm. Oh, there's a distortion forming. Or is that just the one that's over Mount Cornet? I can never tell. Looks like it's over here. Maybe it is close by. Maybe we'll go to it. Oh no! Level 49. Let's just use close combat. Good. Really, it was getting stronger. I'm proud of you, Rilu. Maybe you can handle some bigger enemies now. Oh yeah, that looks like the one that's over Mount Cornet. Level 51. Aurora Spear! Oh, so close. No! No, 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 no. Hold on. We should go first. We went first last time. Good job. Hang in there, buddy. We'll get you healed. No. It's not the right button. No. Everyday items. Use. Okay, there we go. Quack. Oh dear. I better not fight that with Rulu. What is that thing? Probably something I don't want to fight. So what did you decide, Chrissy? Members only stream. Right, 
fight Aurora Spear. About the whole thing with Toast's story, you didn't think I'd heard the whole conversation that Dreams just had with you? I was curious what you decided. Fight! Push her forward. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't think my grammar is good enough to edit yet. Really? Don't you edit for drop, though? Well, to edit and to be paid for it, at least. I don't know, Chris. I think you're not giving yourself enough credit. I think you could do it. Just have to actually believe in yourself. I know that's hard to do nowadays, believe in yourself. But I believe in you for what it's worth. For all the pennies that's worth. I paid edit my stuff if I could pay you. Mostly pre read for Drock. I thought you edited for him, aren't you his editor? Little bit of editing. Ah, Kettleball! Woohoo! You see that? Can evolve. Here we go! Look at our boy! Poor Paloswine. Aurora Spear! Guess it's poor for dinner. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Lucario. Let's uh, go back to camp. Let's go back to camp. That didn't take long at all. Just a little while. Alright. Report to you my findings. Gotta go. Alright, now we're gonna go in here. Organize our inventory. Let's go ahead and give the grits to the Cario. We want to get your uh I think you're a physical attacker, but let's get your health up. Never hurts to get your health up, am I right? Okay. Bonita. Special attack. Go ahead and get your special attack up. 
And we'll give the regular grits. I don't think anyone's compatible. Oh, let's try. That's surprising. There. Okay, looks like there's a few things I can drop off in my inventory. Okay, I'm gonna drop off that. I'm gonna drop off that. And that. Don't need that. Don't really need the, the that right now. Maybe at some point we'll need it, but not right now. Organize our inventory. Ball of mud. Move that. And move that. Alright, do I have any uh, extra potion things? I don't think so. Let's see. No, that just makes uh, more Pokeballs, right? The caster farm? Chateau Berry. Why is this in here? Move to Satchel. Move to Satchel. Move all of them to Satchel. Okay, reorganize this. Really, those are in there too? Alright. Alright, that's good. Alright, let's go buy some healing potions. I'd like to do some shopping. Now that I actually have money, let's buy some super potions. Let's buy at least 10. Yes. And then we'll buy 5 revives. That should do it. Don't need to sneak. Okay, now. Now I want to go towards our quest. Request is over here. So we just need to go in that direction. Which I do believe we need to go this way. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's nice. Oh dear. Is that a... Is that a regular one or an alpha? I can't tell. I think a regular one. And up we go! So... Yes? I saw What you coming up here for? Couple things. What's up? First, here's my water. Okay. Didn't know if you needed it, but second, there's a trash can. Thank you. I'm gonna play a couple games with Toast, okay? Okay. See you later. Enjoy your drink. I will. Alright, that was a. Uh, that was Shroom just telling me he was doing stuff. All is good. Ow. I just wish he wouldn't have told me when I was uh, trying to run. I'm poisoned. Uh-oh. This can't be good. How do I heal poison? Is it, is it gonna go away? Can I go back to the campsite? Yes. Okay. Good. All is good. I'm sh pretty sure I had the map up. I'm not sure why that happened like that, but it's it's all good. It's all good. His timing could have been a little bit better. We're just ignoring you for now. 
Get a move on. Oh, there's my new request. What do you want? What do you want? Coming all the way out here to visit us in our cold home? Hey, you're a member of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps, right? I heard you're studying Pokemon and making some kind of book about them. Does that mean you're also studying my dear, beloved bird mite? Of course. What? I can't allow that. That means you'll know more about bird mite than I do, right? I'm absolutely convinced that nobody loves or understands bird mite more than I do. Once you've completed this entry in your book, come show it to me. As bird mite's number one fan in all of Hisui, I'm sure you haven't missed any details. Let's go. Something in that tree. There's something in that tree. Find out what it is. It's a Burmy. A Wormadam, not a Burmy. Alright, fight. Let's try to crunch. Not bad. Okay, Buck's not good against fighting. Good. Let's just go ahead and catch it. Did not stay in the ball. Okay, okay. That's how you want to have it be fine. It's a great ball. Good job, Lucario. Everyday items. Use. This way. Oh. Two different maps, huh? We are here. We are here. Now before we say anything to him, let us go ahead and click the right button. Save. 
All right, it's time. If you wish, if you truly wish to quell Avalok, then walk on. The path lies before you. But know that Avalok will hurl chunks of ice at you without relent. You'll need unrivaled dodging ability. I'm going. You can do it. I didn't think we were going to be doing this fight tonight, but apparently we're doing this fight tonight. <coughs> wow, that is one big chunk of ice. I'm guessing the arena here is going to be very small. I'll have to remember how to throw bombs. How do I throw bombs? How do I dodge? Okay, that's... Oh dear. Ow! Ow! To figure out his pattern. Ouch. That's aiming right at me. Where's this weak spot? There's like no path to stand. Whew. Send in a Pokemon to do battle. Okay, I gotta watch out for those things at the beginning. Okay, show out a lot of your power. Alright, close combat. Ah. No! Okay. Did not go very well. Triple arrows! Where's this part? Oh, there it is. Which way is it coming from? Is there a way to get through it safely? Ow! Ran right into it. Okay, how do I avoid that? Because it all comes down and there's no way to... When Avalos Barrage attack is ongoing, concentrate on dodging and waiting for your chance to strike pack. The powerful beam that Avalos wants to is welcome be evaded with the Y button if you use your brief window of immortality to dodge straight through it. Yes, continue battle. Yes. Yes. I've just got to run around the first set. Run around? How do you run around it? supposed to dodge that. I don't understand. Now it's not going to let me. Fine. Serpentine pattern for the. What does that mean? Roll under the ice beam? 
How do I roll under? Restart battle. I don't understand how to do this fight. Here comes the first ones. that hit me? How can I avoid that? Come on, get up. Huh. I, I don't know how to do this fight. I really don't. No, just kill me. I'm doing dodge rolls! Ice circles just dodge to avoid them. Ice missiles and I forget. That's not helping me! Ay ay ay. I don't understand how to avoid that attack where he's like beaming at me. Man, where's Bill when I need him? It was those ice spears that took me forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Restart. I haven't got any progress, so I might as well just keep restarting. Oh, yeah.
Oh, I'm pressing, I'm pressing at the wrong button. Too late. That last one is so hard. I'm starting to figure out the other ones. Yay, Bill! Nyla needs you. I'm doing a very poor job of helping with this fight. Yes, Bill, I need your help. Please help me. Continue battle. Yes, yes, yes. Keep previous progress. I'm starting to figure it out. Gotta dodge roll through the ice beam, I'm pretty sure. How? How? How do you dodge through a beam? Please explain to me what I need to do. Comes. Wait, did I just do it? Somehow I just did it and I don't know how I did it. You gotta you just dodge through it. That doesn't make any sense! Ugh. Oh, I missed. Hold on. Revive. Use. Potion. What? 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 Oh, that's. Why does that have an X on it?
Come on. Damn it. I'm not good at this fight. Ugh. Of course, that's what I said about every fight. If there's one thing I should be good at, it's dodging. Did Dark Souls teach me nothing? Yes, keep previous progress. <sighs> I said keep previous progress. Why did it go back to full health? People are going to think I look really dumb when they see this. Like, she doesn't know how to play this game. And I'm dead. Time to insert power mode. Yeah, I know. I'm trying. Restart. I'm gonna try restarting. Whoever that is, you have to wait. Strike. Oh, come on. Come on, Lucario. Man, you always get one shotted. Level 56. Guess I could have went a little higher.
I will have side effects of first for Aurora Spear would be a better attack. <sighs> Man, I feel like I need a drink. Well, I don't think uh, I'm doing enough damage. Keep previous progress. Well, actually keep it this time? Because every time I say keep it, it's at full health. Oh dear. Yikes. I can get right now. Another curse. This is so not fair. Oh no. Oh, I'll be pouring you're not ideal for this, but uh, uh, hold on. Items. Revive. Let's try a uh, calm mind. Oof. Okay, even if you go down, it's okay. Let's try Aqua Tail. Just get in some damage. Oh, 
Oh. Hey. What is he doing? Okay, he's doing that again. I didn't say a bad word. You didn't hear nothing. Keep previous gauge. Ay, 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 that's the closest we've ever gotten. Okay, don't panic. Don't panic. Just wait. There it comes. Focus. 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 All of the focus. Come on, Lucario. Come on, Lucario. We can do this. We can do this. I believe in you. I know you're a little bit low level, but you can do this. Got a little bit greedy. Got a little bit greedy. It's okay. 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 Ow! 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 That hurts. Come on. Come on. What's he doing? What's he doing? I'm about to get hit. What's he doing? Oh no! No 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 no! Damn it! <sighs> if I can just get one more, if I can just get one more, one more Pokemon battle. Continue. Don't press the wrong button. Come on. Don't press the wrong button. Keep previous cage. Yes, 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 yes. Please, 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 please. Come on. to move. We got this. We got this. We got this. We're a professional. It's not like we've never done this before. Nope. Here it comes. Here it comes. 
Waiting for him to do his strike. Ah! Oh, God damn it! Let's put away. <sighs> Come on, Lucario. I will say now, getting good with timing the dodge of those projectiles is going to be good practice for the final, final boss. Woo! We did it! Yay! Oh, it didn't take me hours, so uh, thank God. <sighs> oh, did Chrissy, I know we were pretty busy with the fight, but can you go grab Mrs. Cupcake's link? But seeing mighty Avalok quelled, and by such a slight child, a child, a child that fell from the very sky. I am not a child. Is this now the girl some kind of monster in disguise? No, I'm pretty sure I'm not a monster. She is no monster. She's the one who risked her life without a second thought in order to quell our qu frenzied, suffering nobles. Nyla. Garrett cares for the Pearl Clan with all his heart and believes in Almighty Sinnoh just as deeply. So he has feared more than any of us that getting involved with the Diamond Clan and your galaxy team could cause our people to flag in their devotion to Almighty Sinnoh. But that will change. Irita, I know your fears will change once you see what I've seen. Nyla has much to teach us. She's shown us how we can overcome all manner of strife so long as our Pokemon are with us. She made me want to help Glaceon realize greater strength as well and to see my whole world grow broader. It seems you've already changed, Adria. I knew you could pull that off, Nyla. You quelled every last frenzied noble. So is that space-time wreck going to start closing up now, or what? There's little way of knowing for sure, though the rift does seem perhaps a little smaller somehow. Let's hope so, anyways. Well, with any luck, things will settle down now. Although, each, even if the rift does start splitting out more of that strange lightning, we should still be alright as long as we've got Nyla. Indeed, we should be. It's good to have her at our side. You know something, Irita? We may never agree on who's got it right about Almighty Sinnoh, but you pro clan folk aren't all bad in my book. Look who's finally seen reason. Anyway, now that we've called the last noble, I say we play grim old Commander Komodo a visit and see if he'll finally crack a smile for us. <clears throat> All right. I don't know if any of you saw Vaporeon totally not die to Avalog, but Vaporeon is going to be the hero of this run. I guarantee it. Just a little while. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Let's report to the professor. Yay, money. Fascinating, fascinating stuff. Fantastic, fantastic stuff. As always, I'm sure the commander is eagerly waiting to report to the village. Yep, to the village. Before it is the best. Yes. Alright, I su suppose now is the part where we have to start worrying about the Pokédex. Gotta complete that Pokédex, am I right? Each of the Pokemon nobles became frenzied, and now each of them has been quelled. We still have no explanation for why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end. And to think peace would be restored to Hisui by the hand of our mysterious Rickborn helper. When tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a world restored by normalcy. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. Go nourish yourself at the Wallflower and allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget the Survey Corps' work is not over. It does not end until our people can live here in Hisui without fearing the Pokemon around us. Thanks for this nice, sizable helping of Potato Mochi, Benny, old chum. Oh, and if there's anything else that you'd like to recommend, by all means, bring it out. Now that Avalog's quelled too, we can survey all over Hisui. I certainly had my reservations as to whether Avalog needed quelling, but if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. I hate to think what kind of havoc the frenzied nobles could have wrecked if Nyla never came to us. Still, even with all the nobles quelled, the rift doesn't seem to be closing, huh? Although wait, if the rift were to disappear, would that mean Nyla would be stuck here? I'm not sure. Well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution, I've no doubt. And even if we don't, you'll always have a home here in Jubilee City, Nyla. Now then, tomorrow's soon up to us, and it'll be another hard day at work for the Survey Corps. Don't forget what we got our sights on, nothing less than a completed Pokédex. With you around, the Pokédex is as good as complete. Hey, how about I tag, just tag along as your assistant? Assistant? Come now, right? Don't sell yourself short, you're a full-fledged measure of the Survey Corps, too. Oh, well, sure. I guess I am, in any case. Time for a hearty meal and a heavy sleep. Yes, potatoes. All of the potatoes. <coughs> Yay! Bakum! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Disaster looming. Oh joy. That doesn't sound good. Not good at all. 
Potato, 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 potato. This doesn't look good, Nyla. Spaghetti-o. Uh-oh. spaghetti -o. Some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the rift in space-time. Now the entire sky has gone red. I have word from the commander. You are to report to his office at once. Burn, 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 burn. Oh, bum, 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 bum. I thought that said burn. Hmm. The way the sky has changed is ominous, very ominous indeed. What's this about, Commander? You did call us here to discuss the calling of all the nobles, didn't you? I can wait. There is a more pressing concern here that must be addressed. The first strike of that lightning, the one that drove Cleaver into a frenzy, it struck the night that Nyla fell from the sky, did it not? It only seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Who or what are you really, Nyla? Uh, a survey corps member? Indeed, you've done all I ordered. But that does not answer the question of who you really are. You came from the rift as did the lightning. You're connected to these frenzies, are you not? Did you think to gain our trust by calling the frenzies you yourself brought about? And having gained our trust, what then? What is it you're really after here? Hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest that Nyla has wronged us. Exactly. And besides, do you really think she's got the source of fierce of power it take to make all this happen? <coughs> Let me ask you in turn. Can you prove beyond a doubt that she is free from guilt? This person, this stranger, appealed out of a rift in space-time. Who here can guarantee she is who she says? Who here can guarantee she is to be trusted? But that's... no one can do that. You're asking to prove a negative. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What is not supposed to do then? She will be given the chance to investigate this latest disaster, but not as a member of the Galaxy Team. She remains a suspect until she can clear her name. There are those in the village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky, and so I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the Galaxy Team. Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. No, until you restore our world to its rightful state and prove your innocence beyond doubt. Is that clear, Celine? Yes, sir. How can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in Nyla? Do not attempt to intervene on her behalf. I will do what I must as the commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. But I have not forgotten your deeds nor the unusual skill you have displayed. This is why I have chosen to let you walk out of here free rather than clap you in chains. Deception, disgrace, evil as plain as the scar on her face. You're to be expelled from the village? Seriously? <coughs> orders are orders. Uh-oh. Let's go. This way. No!
They get the feeling that something's going to happen. I just don't know what. We can take it from here, ma'am. Understood. However, the decision was mine to accept this stranger as a member of the Survey Corps. It is only right that I should personally escort her from the village and to the Fieldlands camp. I'll come too. As I will naturally. I'll allow it. <coughs> then I'll mark you all down as bound for the Fieldlands camp. Safe travels. Does this mean we can never go back to the village to get our stuff or visit our other Pokemon? I can't believe the boss would do this. He called all those noble frenzies over his under his own orders. Quite right. Moreover, even if you did have to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn it red. This is utterly intolerable, and I might add, uh, assertively unscientific. As a man of science, I will fight such illogical thinking tooth and nail. You must not. You will only cause Nyla more pain if you are driven out as well for defending her. However, there are others who might offer help. You've been an aide to both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Of course, perhaps Adam and where Idrina might take you in. Well, I'm afraid they've both already returned to their respective settlements. I bet you could at least start by finding Linnea at the Grand Tree Arena. Not sure where it may be if you want the Diamond Clan. Don't die alone out there. That's an order. I will ensure you have all you need to complete the survey the commander has tasked you with. If I might offer my advice, in this life you'll meet with both admiration and abuse from others. However, how others choose to view you is choice only they can make. All that truly matters is that you hold firm to your own values. What of the dream I first shared with you on the Pearly Beach to complete the Pokédex? That dream won't come true without you. <coughs> Alright, I'm guessing this means we can't go back into town, like, ever? What of the dream I first share with you on Prelude Beach to complete the Pokédex? Oh, okay. Can we still shop? If you're heading out to the wilds, best be prepared. Okay. We can still shop. We can still rest. Alright, so, so I have no idea what I'm getting into. Let's just, uh, let's just go. I believe the choice of diamond, purse versus pearl will be an important one. Ew. Do tell me more. If you don't mind. Should I start raising some of my other Pokemon? So I'm not going to be able to complete the Pokédex unless I do. Hmm. Diamond or Pearl? Diamond or Pearl? can't, it'll spoil the final boss. Oh, oh, oh! Oh dear. Yep, no spoilers. So basically I'm choosing to fight Dialga or Palkia? 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 However you say the other one. Oh, I like Dialga better, so clearly I'm gonna pick Diamond. I will say completing the book of this is how you get to the final, final boss. Yes, I know, Arceus. I'm well aware. 
Whoops. What's so funny, Snurf? He's talking with Toast, I think. You! What in the world did you do? Look at the size of that rift. The lightning starts pouring from it, all the Pokemon he so he could be thrown into a frenzy. The entire clan is in a panic now. I should have known that the only thing that could come from the rift was disaster. I need help. Help? Ah, well, that's not exactly something I can do. It's not that I wouldn't like to help you, but it would put Irita in a difficult position. I truly wish I could repay you for calling Cleaver's frenzy as you did. You must know that, but there's nothing I can do for you. Word in mind may be able to help you, though. She's a caring woman, after all. You're most likely to find me at the Warren Bridge. I believe it's a very significant place for her. I'm certain that somewhere in the vastness of Hisui, there's a place for you as well. Oh. <coughs> Alright. And between the final boss and the final final boss is the post-game boss, which you may have had experience with. Man, there's a lot of bosses in this game. When does it end? A PS dash? We. My, my, what a frightful sky. Such a disturbance that it would be enough to put anyone ill at ease. You don't know what brought this about, do you? I don't know. I suppose it was too much to expect that you could already have an answer to all this. I heard from our leader what happened. You can't return to that village of yours, can you? But I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the ones to save you. The Diamond Clan could end up at war with the Galaxy Team if things went badly. I think you would regret that as much as anyone. The great White Deer took a liking to you. I want to offer you my support, but forgive me, I cannot help you in this. Do not abandon hope. Time solves all things. And besides, you seem to have a talent for making your own way in the world. And no doubt you'll continue to find a path to walk. Gotta catch every Pokemon, least to end end. But more you can do after that. You mean all that side quest stuff? Card! Yeah, I don't think I'm going to complete every single side quest in the game, because I don't really have any interest in the balloon race stuff. It's a Shinx!
No. That was cute. Stranger men seem to follow you wherever you go, don't they? Found you at last, Nyla. I've been looking all over for you, you know. What would you do if I were to lose one of my favorite customers? If those are some of the only tasks I've yet to complete, the balloon race ones. Don't worry, I've already heard what happened. A good merchant knows well the importance of staying abreast of all the latest news. It seems you're in quite a pinch. No place for you among the Diamond Clan or the Pearl Clan. To say nothing of how poorly the Galaxy team has treated you. But not to worry. <coughs> there are still corners of Hisui where you can stash away in secret. I know a spot that will be the perfect hideaway. Leave it all up to me. Oh, the perfect hideaway, huh? Why would we want to hide? Don't we want to solve whatever's going on? Here we are. I know, I know, it's no palace. But you know the saying about beggars and choosers. Shirking your work to come pester me again, even beneath a bleeding sky you never change. Always a pleasure, Mistress Kanita. But I'm, a, I'm afraid I'm not here today to learn more of Hisui's myths and legends. No mistress, thank you, just Kunita. And this is... Why, Nyla is the woman of the hour. She's the one who called the frenzy of all the Pokemon novels, believe it or not. Ah, the poor wrench you spoke of, lost in time and space. Dear me, lost one, it seems I'll be able to fill my duty at long last, thanks to you. Lost one? Indeed, I am to guide you, Lost One, for the task of preventing great disaster falls to you. The rift in the space-time must be mended. These time and space themselves be thrown out of balance. Notice her brooch, Nyla? Oh! Oh! That's who this is. But come, you may enter my dear hideaway. There's much to be told. Ah, secrets. Secrets of the secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. The space-time rift is said to be a portal to innumerable other, innumerable other dimensions. In one such realm, far and further still from ours, dwells almighty Sinnoh. The diamond... Oh, this is where I choose. It's highlighted. This is where... This is where I choose. Well, if if anyone has any opinions on the matter, you can uh, you can tell me now. But I'm probably going to pick the Diamond Clan because I like Dialga better than Pal Pal Palkia Palia. How do you say? Is it is it Palia or Palega or Palia? Or maybe this is the third Musketeer to Diamond and Pearl. That'd be platinum. The diamond glands. The expanse from infinity to eternity and the expanse to all sides above and below. Time traces the path we tread from here and now into the future. How key, uh, Palkia is how I pronounce it. While space yawns all encompassingly, surrounding us in every direction. You see, don't you? The two together, time and space, comprise all creation of the universe. How can one claim that either is greater than the other, as those two clans do? Uh, they're inseparable. Perhaps the truth is clearer to a wanderer such as you, one who has known other ages. Now listen, lost one, here is what you must do. 
He Sui holds three lakes of great importance, Lake Verity, Lake Valor, and Lake Acuity. Acuity. Uh, each dwells a Pokemon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials each will set you, and bear their gifts to the Shrouded Ruins. There you may receive the Red Chain. With it, perhaps you can bind the world together. Bind the world, you say? You mean it won't close the rift? Kindly spare me your doubts, young man. I know the old words won't be us to do. How true they are isn't mine to know. And regardless of the truth, I am bound to pass them on. How callous of my ancestors to leave their legends to their children without a thought for the hardship it would cause them. But here we are. You know your duty and you'll do it, won't you? Of course. There is nobility in knowing what must be done and seeing to it. Your arc phone is beeping. You can see the locations of three lakes marked on your arc phone. Miss Kunita's got a lovely workbench here. And if you need materials, I'd be glad to help. I'm always happy to do business with you. What about the pastures? Ah, that is a problem, isn't it? What shall we do about that? Indeed. Ah, bah. What was that cry? Have we now a lost Pokemon as well as a lost child? Do see to it, please. How could I refuse you, ma'am? Off we go, Nyla. Off we go. It's an Abra. Hello, hello, it's an Abra. Where did you teleport in from, little fella? And it's got a letter. A letter addressed to you, Nyla. <coughs> you take a closer look at the letter. To Nyla. You may use my Pokemon as a go-between to access the pastures in Jubilee Village. I've also ensured that you'll be able to utilize our base camps without issue. I have every confidence in your ability as an ADAPT Survey Course member to bring this bizarre situation under control promptly. Sincerely, Selene. Survey Caps Captain, Galaxy Expedition Team. Good tidings from the letter, then. That's right. Now then, so we're to visit the Three Lakes? It doesn't sound like an easy task, that's for sure. It sure would be wonderful to have a kind soul who might help us out. Quite the opportunist, aren't you, Volo? Such a consumament guilt merchant. I managed to reassure my people for now. The word is we're keeping a close eye on their nobles, too. Seems all quiet for the moment. And so here we are. But still, we'll never get away with openly aiding you. If we were to undermine the commander's direct orders, relations would grow strained. Long story short, we want to help, but without drawing attention. So it'll just be one of us. Me or her, it's up to you, though the answer should be obvious. Oh, this is where I pick? Wait, what does that say? I can't see it. Disaster looming. Choose whose help you want on the path ahead. Okay, so uh, just just a general question. What's the difference like between these two? Is it just who the boss is? Like, do they have different abilities? Because I know she she makes all the bombs. What does he do? This is your choice. Yep, here is your choice. Alright. Obviously you choose me, right? Who gave you that Celestia flute in the first place? That's right, this strapping young man. I want to see what she says. Let's see what she says. Of course she'll choose me. I was the one who got you what you needed when you first set out to call Cleaver. You and I made his bombs together. Let me think it over. Ah, okay. You know, um, let me save my game. Wait, what did, what did that say? Oh, it's the lost and found. 
A satchel containing the innocent drops has been delivered to you by Trevor. Claim. Thanks, Trevor. Jess. Claim. Thanks, Jess. Alright. Okay. Well, I already told you what I thought, so... Yes, I choose you. Not so, you can count on me. So then the leftover leader will... Leftover? I'm not someone's scraps. I'll keep watch on the commander. I imagine I'll hear something useful from him. Of course, of course. And the lucky chosen one comes with us to the lakes. We can fill you in on the details as we go. Well, the first task will be to decide which of one of the Heesweese regions three Great Lakes to visit first. Right, and we better get a move on. No time to waste. I'll meet you wherever we decide to go. We'd be in hot water if we were seen traveling together. I'm counting on you to handle this, Adamin. Don't cause Nyla more trouble. Ooh. Interesting. I don't want to put that in storage. Put that in storage. Put that in storage. Let's reorganize our inventory. Move all at once. Move all at once. Okay, more revives. More grip dust. I don't think I'm going to need these. Or that. And... Move. Move. That's just one leak, so we're just going to put it in storage for now. There we go. That looks better. Alright, do, where do we sleep if we want to sleep? Do we have to go in here to sleep? Ah. No? Did I talk to her? Dear me, lost one, it seems I'll be able to fulfill my duty at long last thanks to you. Okay, do we not sleep on this bed? How do we uh, restore our Pokemon's PP? Apparently not that way. Hmm. There's a fire over here. You can sleep at base camp still. Oh, okay. Something you need? Oh, there's a full restore. That's in our storage. Hold on. Move to satchel. That's just a regular potion, but I might as well use it, am I right? Okay. Alright, we got everything we need. Try the campfire. Don't think the campfire does anything. Just a campfire. Oh, investigate? This is in TT tea set. Oh. Well, that didn't help. Okay. So where are you headed? Uh, I want to go to the trial of Lake Verity. What's this? Ancient retreat. I guess it wants me to go here first. Jubilee Village. 
Iceland, Corn Islands. Oh! I mean, does it matter? Does it matter which one I do first? Does that have any effect on anything? Don't think so. Alright, okay. I'm gonna go to the Fieldlands camp. Just a little while. Okay, so I should probably keep my current team for now. You won't be able to catch them until post post game, by the way. Okay. That's fine. I don't have to catch them. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, people. It is time for our BRB break of the night. So, if you need to grab a snack, grab some more water, grab whatever drink of choice you're drinking, Go use the bathroom, take your meds. Now is the time to do all those things. I will be back in just a few minutes. Please enjoy the beer right back screen.
All right, I am back. I am back. Hello, everyone. I hope you had a good break while I was gone. I got some water. I did not grab a snack, but uh, man, my hand hurts because uh, Dream's got a very special pineapple adult juice box, if you will, and uh, we were having a heck of a time getting the thing open, but uh, finally got it open. So uh, he's trying it. He says it's pretty good, so that's always a plus. And hopefully if I can get the, the pineapple itself really like not smelly like alcohol when it's empty, I might actually keep it because it's blue. Never had a blue pineapple before. All right. Without further ado, let's go. So Lake Verity is over here. Is there anything like, is there any specific critter, like any specific type of creature I should use? Uh, aren't they like uh, psychic? I think they're psychic. Where's my thing that tells me which way to go? Activated the quest. Oh, there it is. I'm going the wrong way. A reminder that you can fly now. Oh, you're saying it'd be faster to fly? Okay. the wisp thing. Fourteen remaining wisps in the area. They say this lake actually used to be a volcano. Then it erupted, leaving a huge crater that filled with water, and so Lake Verity was born. It is protected by a Pokemon called Miss Breet. It was Miss Breet took flight that people first learned the joys and sorrows of living. Or that's how the old tales go anyway. Your arc phone is beeping. Dun dun dun. That cave, it just appeared from nowhere. Is that arc phone the professor was going on about? Let's do this, Nyla. Mistress Kunita seemed quite intent that you would have to prove yourself to all three of the Pokemon that guard these lakes. This challenge was never for the faint of heart. Alright, here we go. I have no idea what I'm about to get into, but here we go. There's something about this place I can't quite put into words. A menacing Pokemon stands before you. Trounce that thing, now let prove to the Pokemon of Lake how strong you are. Okay, that's a dragon. I don't have anything that's good against dragon. I mean, I have a Sligu, but that thing's probably way more powerful. 
Maybe I should just leave with Luxor and go from there? And that is a he swing Gudra. Alright, let's ray. Let's see how you do. Shelter. Fairy and ice. Which means it's not weak to very much. Alright. We're gonna try thunder. Oh. Great. Well, we'll try thunder again. Wow. Oh, paralyzed. I'll take it. Okay, let's fight. Let's use crunch. Luger is still in dragon type. His weakens fighting ground type attacks. Okay, looks right. Switch. Pretty strong. Oh no. Okay, I know the car is a little bit weak, but we're gonna try. There we go. Good job, Lucario. That's the way, Nyla. I can tell by watching that you and the Pokemon you've caught in those little balls truly understand one another. Now let's see about the Pokemon of the lake. You feel a mysterious presence. Your emotions share them with me. They're yours. So it speaks from its mind straight to yours? Makes sense for a Pokemon that embodies an aspect of the mind, I guess. When you fell to this land, what stirred in your heart? Uh, panic. Bewilderment. Uh, we'll go with Bewilderment. How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Exciting. What did you feel when you make it with He Sween's clans? We're all so different. What did you feel when cast out of the Galaxy team? I felt better. I accepted it. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. You attained Miss Ritz Plume! Yay! Kayoon! I can't even imagine what that must feel like, having a Pokemon talk to you without words. Well, the world's full of mysteries, I guess. I can hardly even be surprised at things like these after seeing the sky itself so warped. Now we have two lakes left to visit. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is give you a potion. Revive. Revive you. Give you a potion. Oh, 
All right, let's go. All right, what's the next one, week two? <coughs> Looks like the, that worked out well, Nyla. Gotta admit, you sure know plenty about he people, though. That's right. You could say it's because I'm a merchant, but mostly I'm just naturally filled with curiosity. I want to know exactly what happened in the past that led us to this particular present. Or more accurately, I suppose, I want to know where I came from and where I'm headed. I want to know my past, so to speak. Which lake is next? I think we'd all like some answers on that. I don't properly know how we came to worship Almighty Sinnoh in the first place. I've even got some questions about its true nature. Weighty, weighty, matters to, weighty matters to ponder for sure, but we have an important task before us. Do you want to return to Mistress Kogita, Kogita, I said that right before, Kogita's home? Uh, no, I'll stay here. Let's go back. Perfect, I'd like to see what she thinks of our progress. So we'll go back and do our report and then go out to the next one. Um, Lake Acuity. Lake Acuity is the next one I'm going to do. Ah, Mistress Plume. So the legends told it true, then the red chain must be real as well. I guess, but this all makes no sense to me. These Pokemon represent our minds and they'll give us this thing and will bind the world and solve all the mess, but how? Why? Your doubt suggest a keen intellect. I see you're not your clan's leader for nothing. Without the mind, or the rift to widen and the very world to end, would we even know it? One might say the world, time, space, all creation exists only because our minds are there to perceive it. And need dark and fighting special moves only. Perhaps the Red Chain's purpose is to let one see creation as it truly is. I get it even less now. Sure, such are myths, my child, teaching us about the world in their own incomparable ways. They urge us to think more for ourselves on the nature of Almighty Sinnoh and on the nature of the world in which we dwell. You're absolutely right, myths and legends are such fascinating things to study. In any case, all we have to do is complete two more trials and we will get the red chain. How nonchalant you sound, how confident of successes to which you contribute nothing. You tag along only for the chance to gawk at more ancient ruins. Okay, you said special moves only. And you said dark and fighting. Okay, so special moves. Bite is physical, so that's not going to work. Yes. Uh, change moves. That's that's also physical, right? Especially fighting. I was pretty sure. Yep, that's that's definitely physical right there. Okay, so let me see here. Yeah, quit changing. I... What about you? Aurora Spear... Is Aurora Spear physical? Ah, Aurora Spear is special. Okay. I can use Lucario. I can use Lucario. Lucario is a little bit low level, but it'll work. I also see Dragon Pulse. Which would have been good against uh, Gudra. Okay. Will level 52 be like high enough? Yes. We quit for now. We also have Vaporeon, who has mostly special moves. Maybe we should look if we. Do you have anything dark you can learn? No. 
darn. Yes. Okay, do I have... I can't look at my Pokemon here. I had to go to a camp. I'm going to... Hold on. Let me select my quest. Not here. Map. Yep, Lake Acuity. Yep, that's where I'm going. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Dark and fighting are just what's super effective. You can check your Pokemon with Abra, that's what he's there for. I want to see my Pokemon. Okay, so here we are in our box and most of these Pokemon are going to be lower level than anything we have. But we do have we do have Perugly. Nice Slash is physical. You're mostly physical. Thirty-five, that's way too low level. We have to do so much grinding. Yep, Abra is awesome. You're too low level and you're physical. You're physical. Your flume's thirty-one. You don't even have a dark type move. You have Dark Pulse, but you're only level 29. I'd have to do a bunch of grinding. Now there's Dark Pulse, level 45 for Drapion. But still, that's way lower than anything in our party. Nothing there is going to work. Level 52, Psychic. Nope. I say we just go with what we have. Because, I mean, Hunter is the closest, but that's still, that's still pretty low level. I believe in our team. Is here. Ow. Maybe I shouldn't have jumped. Confused. That's what I selected. I don't have anything I could debate it here, right? No. It's all the way over here. Oh. Wait.
I gotta get rid of this. How do I erase? There we go. Alright, there we go. Go up this way. Go, Caesar, go. You climb those rocks. Here we are, Lake Acuity. You know, I've been told it actually contains seawater as well. Nobody knows why, though. It could be a fluke of geography, or perhaps it's connected to a Pokemon somehow. Lake Acuity is protected by the Pokemon Uxie. When Uxie took flight, the knowledge to solve problems was born in people's minds. That's what the stories say, anyway. that can make caves simply appear from nowhere is quite a handy one to have. Let's go, Nyla. I imagine there may be Pokemon in there protecting the lake's guardian. Take care. Now, let's see what's waiting for us. Oh dear, a menacing Pokemon stands before you. Hope you like a riddle. Cow! A riddle? I know you don't need me to tell you this, Nyla, but I've still got to say it. Be careful around that thing. Cow! I'm not very good at riddles. When I'm already sending out the wrong Pokemon. Okay, so we already talked about Lucario. So let's just send... Oh, we can't send Lucario out? Okay, there we go. Okay, you said, you said special. No effect, but I checked. Aurora Spear special. You know what? When all else fails, send out Victoria. Alright, Victoria. Come mind. Fight. Aqua Tail.
What did I tell you? Vaporeon is the hero of this run. Not super effective. Normal damage. Just bloop. Gone. Knew you could do it, Nyla. You feel a mysterious presence. Come, I will test your knowledge. Uh oh. Combi, Suba, Unknown, Magneton, Dustclops. Okay. How many are their eyes? Oh dear. Uh, tell me each one by one, yet all at once. Answer me. Can you repeat that? Combi. Combi is, let's see. Combi is three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Subat doesn't have any eyes. So unknown has one in the center. Or is, or is one just for one unknown, or do I have to count the entire alphabet? I think it's just one. So four, so six, one, seven, magneton, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and dustclops. Dustclops has one eye, right? Fourteen? Each Pokemon is a separate number. Okay, okay, so three. No, no, not three. Combi has six. Six. Subat has zero, because Subat is blind. Subat doesn't have any eyes. Un unless I'm wrong about that. Uh, Magneton has one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. And then Dustclops. This club says one eye. Is this right? Oh, whoops, forgot to add the one. So if I'm correct on this, it's six, zero. Magneton is three Magnemites. Yes, but each Magnemite has two eyes. Oh, 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 I see what you're saying. Magnemite. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So we want six, zero, unnoticed one, and the Magneton is three, and the Dustclops is one. Is that correct? Oh, excuse me. Yes, okay. How many are there eyes? I'm ready to answer. Okay. Six. Zero, one, three, one. Hey you! Take this piece of the spirit to bide this world once more. Just one more to go. Alright, let's go. Let's go. One more lake. One more lake. I assume all went well, Nyla. Still, I must wonder, why don't they just give us the red chain? 
Why all this running about? I guess I can think of two reasons to keep the train safe and to test us. Perhaps you are right. Who knows what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands after all. But having said that, isn't the red train for mending the world? What use would some villain have for it? Who could say for sure? Maybe the red train has some other use besides mending the world? You could well be right. I guess we'll have no way of knowing until we get the red train for ourselves. So shall we return to Mistress Conita's home? Yep, let's go back. Wonderful, then I'll see if Mistress Conita has any more insights to share with us. Lastly, you'll need fighting, bug, fairy, ground, and or psychic. And another Hisuian exclusive Pokemon. Does that mean I should pick back up uh, Yonmega if bug is good? The Pokemon on the lakes are strange. They seem to play on your mind somehow. Indeed, yet we may want to add just a dash more speed. Things in Jubilee Village are tense. What makes you say so? It says it seems the Pokemon's been glimpsed on the other side of the rift. One of those Kingiko Guild merchants informed me that Commander Komodo has raised a force not to survey the Pokemon, but to subdue it should the need arise. One of the Ginkgo Guild merchants you make it sound as if you're not one of them. Now, if if a Pokemon truly were to appear from beyond the rift, what would become of everyone, I wonder? That settles it, Nyla. There's no time to lose. We've got one material left to find for the red chain. Let's go get it. No, wait. Only ground is super effective. Whoever wrote this down doesn't know Pokemon. Only ground is super effective? I don't have any ground type moves. Eh. Should we just use me for it? It's like I said. Even if we look at our Pokemon, even if we look for something that has ground. Yon Mega has rock, but that's not ground. Ancient power is not gonna work. Pillow Swine has high horsepower, but he's only level 45. I'd have to level him up. I could give him some uh, dark poison. Dark. Oh, it's dark and poison. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Hmm. Well, there we go. High horsepower. Okay, Sligo, sorry. Come on, right on. It's time to show your stuff. Oh, I might want to activate the quest first. Okay. Is the only one left? We are going over here. We're gonna rest up just to be safe. All right, let's go. I'm curious, can you climb this? No? Wait.
Might be the only dragon. Might be the only dragon not super weak to fairy types. You don't want Lucy going into the final boss. Nope, no waterfall move, I think. Or, well, can't climb waterfalls. Do you know about Lake Valor? It's said to be formed by a volcanic eruption, much like Lake Verity. Though there are also theories that say it was carved out in the midst of a Pokemon battle. This lake is protected by Pokemon itself. When a self took flight, the will to do what needs was born into people's hearts. Or that is what legends would have us believe. Your arc phone is beeping. Oh, a cave appears where there is none, as if just for Nyla. In we go, Nyla. I imagine strong Pokemon could wait inside, protecting the Pokemon of the lake. Take care. Alright, here we go. I see what you're up against. Oh dear. A menacing Pokemon waits before you. Watch it, Nala. I've heard about this one from my grandfather. This clothes are venomous. Okay, noted. Alright, right on. Time to show your stuff. This will be Rhydon's first battle. Let's see how you do. Ooh, it's already not good. High horsepower! Okay, close. It's pretty weak now. You know what that means. No, not Luxray. Go Vaporeon. Meet Overquill. Your Aqua Tail's not going to be effective against me. And my Aqua Tail's not going to be effective against you. But we're still going to do Aqua Tail. Good job, Vaporeon. Critical hit. That's our, that's our, wait, it's before I had a girl or a boy, I forgot. That's our champ right there. You feel a mysterious presence. Ayoon! Show to me, unyielding will, strike me if you can. Oh, we have to, have to actually fight it? Oh no. Did those bombs just appear out of nowhere? I guess you're meant to throw them at itself. Now time to be sneaky. Okay. Are you saying that a self will follow us? If we're not sneaky? There's no real place to hide in here. I mean, a self can teleport.
You seem to hear a voice inside your head. Will you abandon this folly? I'm not through yet. Don't give up, keep trying to hit a cell with bombs. It seems you had your best. Give up. Will you continue regardless? I'm not through yet. Okay, I don't understand how we're supposed to... There's nowhere to really hide. You have to get behind it when it teleports and sneak up on it, but don't get too close. You have to get behind it when it teleports. Okay. Okay. No, I'm not done. I'll get it. Kayoon! Take this piece of spirit to bind the world once more. Apparently the game felt bad for me. You've obtained a cell's fang. <coughs> Yay! Woohoo! Alright, let's go. Nope, that is how it goes. It seems we've finished the three lake trials. Perseverance is the thing being challenged here. I don't know what could await us in there, but I'm always excited to explore some ancient ruins. Let us be on our way. <sighs> the Shrouded Ruins. Mist is so very good at obscuring things, it's long been said to blur boundaries. Roll off a ba bad guide bill, tosses this guide through a window. If we're to somehow bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, then maybe we need a setting such as this. That being said, what are we meant to do now? Seems I made it in time. Showing up only when the time's right, huh? With age comes wisdom, I guess. I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon if you really wish to know. Right, but how do we make this red chain? I would hardly know. We speak of a divine instrument once said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine it can be forged by mortal hands? Now what are we doing here? We don't have any more time to waste. Yeah. 
Ah, the Pokemon of the lakes. You received the red chain. So it was true, the pact of our people have passed down for all these generations has been kept. At last I can set this burden aside. You've succeeded once again, Nyla. Yet, things do not seem to be going so well for the rest of the world. What's that supposed to mean? I've had some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. It seems that the commander is going to forgo waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Corm Cornet himself. What's he thinking? Even if he makes it up there, what can he do against a giant rift in space-time? Well, he doesn't know yet that our Nyla has managed to get the red chain now, does he? That's right. We've got to let him know that it'll be all right now that we have the red chain. Even the commander should see reason and then call off his foolhardy plan of his. Huh? Wait, no, it's you. I can't believe I just let you pass right by. Thank goodness you're still alive. I mean, of course you are. I knew you'd be alright. Wait, one second. I'll go tell the captain and the rest that you're back. Oh, my dear Nyla. Professor, I knew you'd been worried about Nyla, but there's no need to cry. I'm not crying. Do not mock your elders, if you please. Ray, sniffle. You might want to get these levels in before heading up there. Get a wink of sleep from all you're worrying over our friend? You didn't have to tell her that. Just ignore him, Nyla. Anyway, where's Captain Selene? Wasn't she coming with you, Professor? She's buried under a mound of work, I'm afraid. Ordered to join her in the survey corps field. It seems her hands are more than full now. That Commander Kamado's gone. You're yeah, gonna need some leveling up. Commander's gone. Yeah, he sent over Mount Cornet with Surrey Corpse in tow. He's determined to handle this whole space time rift business himself, including dealing with the Pokemon that's been spotted on the other side. And since I'm such a fine fellow, I took over watching the game for the Survey Court folks. Well, we aren't getting anything out here. Let's head inside and report to the captain. <clears throat> Alright, uh, what level do I need to be? So you managed not to die, just as I ordered. Well done. Thank you, Captain. I had no idea what you're implying. All I know is I ever vanished of its own accord, inconveniencing me greatly. Before moving forward, I must ask, I assume that you are here again because you managed to learn something of use. I got this red chain. Go on. The legendary tools that divine the very world. Hello, Classy. How are you? Commander Komodo is no longer here in Jubilee Village. The survey corps have been scouting the area near the space-time rift, and they reported sightings of something on the other side of it, something that resembled a Pokemon. The commander made the decision to take the security corps to the mountain so as to prepare to fend off any possible threat. They were made... They were to make for the temple at the peak. The boss may be tough, but it still seems like a bad idea to do something so risky without Nyla's help. As the captain of the survey corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Nyla, take the red chain to Mount Cornet. Make your way to the peak and put an end to all this. You are officially reinstated at your former rank. Yay! Are you sure, Captain, the boss has been around to approve that? If he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he should not have left me in charge here. 
then I'll go as well. We're all in this together. Were we members of the Survey Corps? Naturally, no one suggested you should not. Alright, let's go save. Hey, Riolu. I mean, Lucario. Gruff. Something the matter, Lucario? I'm Rai, and you are? Oh, okay, you're Nyla. Nice to meet you. Gruff. What is it, Lucario? Gruff. It seems Lucario sent your strong aura too. If you're willing to battle us, would you come to the training grounds? Okay, I guess that's another quest. Alrighty, alrighty. Now saving. I go this way. There you are, Nyla. Adrina's already headed to Mount Cornet. How are things looking here? The commander is already at Mount Cornet. He's already started at the mount. He must be more reckless than the dignified manner of his lets on. Not that I can blame anyone for wanting to avoid wasting time. Well, all right, then. Guess I'm going after him. Let me go first, Nyla. If you were to show up without, with no warning, there'd probably be a fight. Time's a wasting. See you there. Hmm, who is the reckless one? Huh. Hey, you got run out of the village, right? But you still tried to find a way to help us all? That's right, now that we're starting to get that red chain to help everybody. Too right, and a fine job she did too. The servant corpse is always hard at work for the sake of everyone here in the village, as well as for the sake of our relations with Pokemon. Thanks! Here, take this! A max survive. Ooh. Good, I just wanted to drop a like before I head to bed. Your orders are three. One, make for the summit camp, and from there, the Temple of Sinnoh. Two, use the red chain to resolve this mess. And three, return here alive. Not teleporting us directly there, is it? Okay, I'm at the camp. This is good. I hope you get some good rest, Classy. I've heard the latest, so you've been accepted back into the Galaxy team, haven't you? I suppose congratulations are in order. Here are some exposures for me to celebrate. It looks like the big moment is upon us at last, but no doubt it'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn that red chain. Both Adam and Irina have headed to the peak as well. My good friend Nyla, I wish you great fortune in the battles to come. I would truly regret losing one of the most beloved and loyal customers. It seems Komodo intends to use the summit as a base of operations for this undertaking, as for me, I think I'll share a shop closer to the temple itself. Things certainly seem to have gotten out of hand. Well, if anything goes wrong, the great Millie will be here for moral support at least. Alright, let's save. Just a little while. All right, wrong button. Always pressing the wrong button. Save. All right, everyone. I'm gonna turn the camera over now. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna try to avoid the ring light shining in my glasses. Uh, remember, stay safe, stay awesome, and always know you're sweet as a pineapple. Bye everyone, have a good night.
Don't forget to do your Spanish, Chrissy. Thanks for the help, Bill. Uh, what level should I be for next time? Give me a number, level 80 or something. Might have to do some grinding. What level should I be? Let, let me know. Bye!